I'm 002BJ and welcome to my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. This walkthrough is not only for newcomers but also for anyone returning to this game for, I don't know, nostalgia value I guess. So let's jump right into it with uh, the professor for this game, Professor Birch. You know, not the most interesting professor but not the worst either. Now if I remember correctly, he studies Pokemon Habitats, which is kind of interesting I guess. Ah, now you choose what gender you are, because clearly you cannot tell. Your gender doesn't really change much in the game, I think it only changes a few pieces of dialogue here and there, but other than that it's exactly the same. I will be using my YouTube username of 002BJ for this walkthrough, because, well, I guess it makes sense, and why the hell not. What I'm hoping to achieve with this uh, walkthrough is to give you a little more information about Pokemon, this game in particular, the Hoenn region, anything I really can that relates to Pokemon, I guess, and to entertain you, mostly. I basically do that by speeding up some of the slower fights or cutting them out entirely, I haven't decided yet. And also doing some editing stuff to like bring up pictures of some Pokemon and do all these fancy things that will take far too much time for what they're worth, but still, I'll do it. Also, I love the way you arrive in Hoenn. I mean, you're in the back of a goddamn truck. Come on, that's awesome. Probably been in there for days. Now I would assume you would have taken a ferry to get to Holland because the whole region's surrounded by water. So yeah, bet that was fun. Anyway, here are some Virgoth vs Virgoth. I forget the names, which is kind of sad considering how much of a Pokemon nerd I am. But there you go. I know it starts with B, and I know their pre-evolution is a Slackoth, and I know their final evolution is a Slacking. So you know. Forgive me for that one forgetful moment of not knowing its name. Anyway, I spend far too long setting the time, even though it doesn't really change anything. I know, every time my mum says, Hey, 002BJ, blah 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 blah, I, know, I just find that funny. Just sounds weird. Now here is useless information that you probably already know, and if you don't, well, there you go, useless information. Well, I guess it's useful, I mean, it's, but it's pretty basic. And if you do check the PC, you will find a potion. Pretty helpful, actually. It's nice that they gave you a free potion. I like how she only refers to him as Dad, like doesn't say his name or anything, but I guess that would be a spoiler. I don't know, just seems weird to me. Anyway, let me just change my options. Ooh, skipping. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't find a um, frame that I really liked, but uh, not really important. Now here's the fat guy that always marvels at science and technology that is in every game ever. Every Pokemon game that is. Well, every main Pokemon game that is. 
It's a kind of a tradition. Now, here's the lab. But if you go in, you'll see that there's no one here. Because you're not supposed to go to the lab yet. Stop skipping ahead, damn it. Well, I guess this guy's here, but he's kind of a jerk, really. I'm always talking down to you, like, yeah, this is what field work is. Oh. Anyway. Now, here's the place we're supposed to go. This lovely lady comes over and introduces herself. Nope. Does she? I don't know. No, she intro She says she has a daughter and she probably wants you to be her boyfriend or something. I don't know. Anyway, you go up here and... Ooh, a free Pokeball! Let's take it! Oh, I wasn't going to do anything. Now, this is your rival for the game. Uh, May, if you chose to be a boy, and... Brendan! That was his name. You'll get Brendan as a rival if you chose to be a girl. So glad we got that out of the way. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately you can't steal that Pokeball, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess that would kind of make you out to be a bad guy, and probably you would have joined Team Rocket if you want to steal Pokemon. Anyway, now we go up here to this little girl who says there's scary Pokemon outside, and oh my god, you have to find out what's going on. And now we see Professor Birch being chased by a Zag Zagoon, of all things. Now, interesting note, in Ruby and Sapphire, it was a Poochiana. And they changed it to a Zig Zagoon and Emerald for some reason. Anyway, here are your three starting Pokemon for the Hoenn region. Alright, first up we have Torchic, Fire type. He is your offensive powerhouse of the group, and he will kill a lot of things pretty fast. He also gains a fighting subtype when he evolves. Next up, we have Mudkip, Water type. He is your defensive one of the trio. Uh, also with pretty high attack, he gains a ground subtype when he evolves. And lastly we have Trico, grass type, uh, he's the speediest one and also has a high special attack. As well as being the only one that doesn't gain a subtype when he evolves. Just something to take note of. Anyway, I'm choosing Torchic for this walkthrough. So deal with it! It doesn't really matter which star Pokemon you choose really. So just choose whatever one you like best. Now this fight should be no trouble at all. If you do lose it, I am wondering... How? <laughs> you literally press the A button over and over until whatever you're attacking is dead. No move switching or anything, you just press A. That's it. Anyway, after you rescue the professor from... Uh, the Zig Zagoon, he takes you back to his lab so he can thank you for that and also give you the starter you battled with earlier. Yay! Starter! And he gives you the chance to nickname him as well, which I did off screen because I want it to be a surprise, I guess? I don't know. And now he wants you to see May. You could say no to this, but he just says, nah mate, you, you want to see May. You want to make her happy. It's pretty much an arranged marriage, to be quite honest. Anyway, now on our agenda is to head up to Route 101 and find May. And help her. Or make her happy or something. I don't know, just don't hurt me, Birch. Don't hurt me. Now, this is where Wild Pokemon and Pokemon Trainers come into play. However, that will have to wait till next time because... yeah. <laughs> no reason given. Just gonna fade out. Screw you. See ya.